Okay, hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss one of the important topic belongs to mathematical physics. That is your core one, BSc physics honor syllabus. Physical significance of divergence of a vector field f. That is your del dot f. Okay, so let's start. Okay. Before we are going to discuss about physical significance of divergence of a vector field, first we are going to discuss a little bit about flux through an area. Let us consider a area in xy plane and this length is your dy and this length is your dx and the area ds is equal to dx and dy. Let us a vector field passed through this area and that vector field is represented by i cap fx j cap fy k cap fz here fx fy fz are the x y and z components of this vector field now this is your area vector which is always perpendicular to this area and creating angle theta with this vector field okay so now the flux is nothing but flux through this area ds will be f dot s that we know f dot s so here f dot s means magnitude of f magnitude of area into cos theta as it is dot product or we can write f cos theta ds so here you can see f cos theta is nothing but your z component here you can see that this is if this is your vector field f then f cos theta then f cos theta means along this direction along this direction is your f f cos theta and this direction will be f sin theta okay so here you can see f cos theta is nothing but along z direction so only for that we return fz okay so here fz into magnitude of the area this flux can also be represented in another way that this is your vector field dot area vector ds is only along z axis so this area vector also can be written as k cap ds right so if i am going to dot product of these two vectors going to do the dot product then k cap i cap 0 k cap dot j cap 0 so we can get the fz into ds that is your fz dx dy so this is uh, the basic idea about flux that we have been discussed over here which will be required to understand the physical significance of the divergence of a vector field now now we are going to go towards physical significance of divergence of a vector field for that consider this is a 3d plane three-dimensional coordinate in Cartesian format in this we consider a vector field named as f okay and then we consider a parallelopiped that is your o b a g f e c d this is the so called parallel piped having along x axis length is your dx y axis length dy z axis length is your dz okay and this vector field passing through this entire volume right so here if we are going to consider this is the phase one phase two then what will be the net flux through phase one and phase two first we have to calculate okay then <coughs> Here you can see at this phase, at this phase, here you can see the vector field is like this along this direction. 
at at this phase one, let this vector field is named as f x y z. See here, I'm going to clarify in that this is considered as O. Okay, that means this O is represents O is represents so called origin of this parallel pipeline. Okay. And at this O, we considered the vector field is your F X Y Z. <clears throat> Suppose this point, this O point is located at X Y Z. So vector field at this O point is your F X Y Z. Here X Y Z is not the function; is is representing the location of this vector field at O. Okay. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> At at the face one, at the face one, here you can see at the face one, the vector field, the vector field is represented as f x y z. Okay. And at the face two, here you can see what is the what is the coordinate has been changed, the y coordinate changed, but x and z remain same. Hence this. Vector field or the vector field at the phase two is written as f x y plus d y because y coordinate changes how much d y here at this point this is y but at this point or at this phase we can say it is changed d y because this length from o to b from o to b the length is your d y. Okay, so here at O or on the surface or face one, the vector field named as f x y z. At B or on the face two, the vector field named as f x y plus d y and z. Okay, now the area vectors for Phase two, let this is your d s two, which is normal to the phase two, and this is your d s one is the area vector normal to this phase one. Okay, normal to this phase one. Now, first we are going to calculate the flux through phase one. Flux through phase one. How how much it will be? The flux through Phase one is nothing but the vector field at phase one dot area vector. So at phase one, the area vector uh, vector field is nothing but f x y z, f x y z dot d s one. Okay, so f x y z is the representation of the vector field at phase one. At phase one, okay, but this f x y z also has x component, y component, and z component. As I told that this x y z is represents the location, not the component, right? So this f vector, which is at phase one, it has also three components. So it will be this f vector. Can be written as i cap f x y z, j cap f x y z, k cap f X Y Z dot dot D S one. Here you can see D S one is directed along negative y axis direction. This is your y axis direction, but D S one directed along this direction. That means negative y axis direction only. And D S one not have other components along x axis and z axis. So if it is so, then D S one can be written as minus J cap D S one, and here you can see D S one magnitude is nothing but this distance into this distance. So this distance is how much D X, and this distance is nothing but D J. So the magnitude of D S one is nothing but D X D J, and direction is your minus J cap. Okay, so same thing it has been written dot minus J cap. Dx 
dz okay if i will do the dot product then only this component will be will be come out and these two components will be zero because dot product with j cap i cap will be zero j cap k cap also will be zero so finally we got the flux of this vector field through phase one or at phase one nearby this o point this o point nearby this o point at phase one or through phase one we can say passing through phase one is your how much this component into this component then minus f x y z into dx d z right now we are going to go for the flux through uh, phase two flux through phase two right here you can see at phase two what is the vector field vector field is this one so for phase two we can write f f x f x x y plus d y z dot d s2 right so here d s2 okay we are going to write i cap f x y plus d y plus j sir comma z uh, plus j cap this one plus k cap this one dot here you can see dot ds2 ds2 means ds2 component is along only positive z direction positive y axis so this ds2 will be written as j cap dx into dz okay dx into dz so here we can write j cap dx dj so we are going to get only j cap component will be there and other two components will be cancelled out and finally we are going to get if f x y plus dy z dot ds2 we will get we will get f x y plus dy z into dx dz so this will be the flux through passing through phase 2 and this value is passing through phase 1 so net flux therefore hence net flux passing through phase 1 and phase 2 will be how much this one plus this value right same thing it has been written here you can see f x f x y plus dy z into dx dz minus this value f x y z dx dz f x y z dx dz this one okay now we are going to go for the net net flux passing through phase three and four five and six okay <clears throat> now we are going to consider for phase three and phase four here you can see that for phase three area vector along positive z axis direction and area vector for phase 4 along negative z direction so if we are going to consider area of this phase phase 3 or phase 4 the area will be here you can see this length is dy and dx so the area will be uh, dy dx and if this area vector uh, it, it can be written as uh, k cap minus k cap dy dx or dx dy and this will be k cap uh, dy dx okay dy dx now at o here you can see this face is connected to o or or o the initial point whatever we cho choose so here for the phase 4 
द वेक्टर फील्ड इज योर एफ एक्स वाई जेड एंड फॉर दिस फेस द वेक्टर फील्ड इज योर एफ एक्स वाई जेड कॉम्पोनेंट चेंज हम ओच डी जेड ओके सो जेड प्लस डी जेड ओके ना वी आर गोइंग टू कंसीडर द फ्लॉक्स थ्रू द फेस फोर फ्लॉक्स थ्रू द फेस फोर विल बी डॉट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस वन दिस वन विथ दिस वन ओके सो इट विल बी एफ एक्स वाई जेड इन टू सो दिस विल बी माइनस माइनस डी वाई डी एक्स एंड डॉट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस वेक्टर विथ दिस वन वी कैन गेट एफ एक्स वाई जेड प्लस डी जेड इन टू डी वाई डी एक्स ओके सो द नेट फ्लॉक्स passing through phase 4 and phase 3 will be addition of this term and this term same thing i have been written that is f x y x y z plus d z into d y d x here i written d x d y no problem minus f x y z d x d y okay now we are going to consider phase 5 and phase 6 okay so here you can see that for phase uh, net flux uh, uh, passing through phase 5 and phase 6 that we are going to calculate here you can see for phi, phase 5 the area vector along this direction that means along positive x axis direction however for phase 6 it is along negative x axis direction so for the phase 5 the area vector will be represented as i cap here this area will be uh, dy and dz it will be okay so dy into dz and for 6 the area vector will be minus i cap dy and dz so here you can see that uh, this is six phase six phase sixth number phase is connected to o so here we are going to consider for sixth phase the vector field is your f x y z but for fifth phase fifth phase here we can see fifth phase is at a dx distance as compared with the sixth number phase so for fifth phase the vector field will be f x plus dx y z okay so the flux through the phase 5 will be f x plus dx y z into dy dz and for 6 the flux for sixth phase the flux will be f x y z this will be minus minus dy dz so the net flux passing through 5 and 6 phase 5 and 6 will be how much here you can see this one plus this one that means f x plus dx y z dy dz minus c plus means it will automatically minus minus f x y z dy dz okay now net flux now the net flux you just check correct it the net flux suppose phi net passing through these six phases so here we considered 1 2 3 4 5 6 six phases or through the parallel pipette or we can say through this volume dv okay so net flux passing through six phases we can say or passing through this parallel pipette or passing through this volume if we are going to consider volume then uh, volume of this parallel pipe this this will be dx dy and dz let dv okay dv that is nothing but dx dy dz will be how much <coughs> we have to just add all the uh, results for 5 6 for the net flux passing through the 5 and 6 is this one here it is written for 3 and 4 this one here i have been written and 
uh, for uh, may you remember uh, this one for one and two for one and two is this one okay that also I have been written over here okay net flux passing through 1 and 2 is this one 3 and 4 is this one and 5 and 6 is this one okay this is the net flux passing through either we can say, say 6 phases or through parallel pipette or through this volume dv now <laughs> net flux passing through the unit volume will be so here you can see passing through entire this volume dv is this one for unit volume that means we have to divide this dv with this one dv will be this one this divided by dv okay simple thing so now net flux passing through the passing through unit volume will be phi net by dv is equal to f dot s by dv equal to f dot ds divided by dx dy dz because dv is nothing but dx dy dz so dx dy dz is going to divide with e, these three terms here this this one is your flux through uh, flux passing through phase 1 and 2 divided by dx dy dz this is passing through 3 and 4 divided by dx dy dz passing through 5 and 6 by dx dy dz so here you can see dx dz dx dz got cancelled only dy will be there dx dy dx dy dx dy got cancelled here dy dz dy dz got cancelled only dx here we get dz so finally we found per unit volume flux passing through per unit volume is this one okay now when the volume we are going to consider very very negligible like this if this volume is reduced to very very small tends to zero we can consider tends to zero or a point or a point we can say point that means here dx tends to zero dy tends to zero dz also tends to zero right so if we are going to consider limit dv the volume tends to zero that for uh, phi net by dv or limit dv tends to 0 f dot ds by dv or f dot ds by dx dy dz so if dv tends to 0 that means dx dy and dz all are tends to all are tends to 0 the right hand side of this equation also will be written as limit here dy is there so no need to write dx tends to 0 dz tends to 0 because dx and dz terms are not there for this term in this term dx dy is not there so we have to write only dy limit dy uh, dy tends to zero this term for this term we have to write dz tends to zero this term f x y z plus dz minus f x y by dz and for this term we have to write dx tends to zero this one this term okay okay now here you can see what is this value what is this value this is represents what the the function which is at y plus dy minus y divided by dy that means the rate of change of function with respect to y that means we can write del f by del y this is nothing but what del f by del z this is nothing but what if d extends to 0 is nothing but del f by del x that we know this is nothing but when limit dy tends to 0 only y component changes with respect to dy this is nothing but called other simply we know the uh, the change of uh, function with respect to y this is the change of function with respect to z change of function with respect to x same thing i have been written in the next slide uh, here itself i written this is your del f by del y this is your del f by del z this is your del f by del x right now <coughs> here we found what the when the volume is negligible when the volume is negligible 
the net flux passing through the unit volume is this one is this one okay is this one now <coughs> here we found when volume tends to zero when volume tends to zero the flux through unit volume is this one now we are going to go for the divergence of vector mathematical expression of divergence of vector i cap del dot f is nothing but i cap del by del y j cap del by del z uh, del by so this will be dx okay i mistakenly written dx dy dz okay just for a moment you just wait for a moment okay so here del dot f that means del means your i cap del by del x j cap del by del y k cap del by del z dot i cap fx fy j cap fy plus k cap fz okay So if we are going to consider the dot product, then we are going to find out del fx by del x, del fy by del z, del y, del fz by del z or simply we can write uh, del f by del x, del f by del y, del f by del z. Okay. So if I am going to compare this result with this one, both are equal both are equal here we found del f by del x del f by del x term there del f by del y del f by del y del f by del z del f by del z so these two terms are equal here this is the meaning that the net flux passing through unit volume though when the unit volume is tends to zero what is the so the definition will be divergence of a vector field is defined as the net flux passing through a unit volume where the unit volume is negligible negligible small or tends to zero or we can write passing through six phases if that volume is parallel or piped always the volume is negligible small so for the definition we can write that divergence of a vector field is defined as the net flux passing through a unit volume where the volume is negligible okay up to this much you have to write where you just add the where the volume is negligible okay now on the base of the results so whenever we are going to uh, take the divergence of a vector field three three types of results you can found or on the base of that the divergence of the vector field classified by three types the first one is that if divergence see divergence of a vector field always will be a scalar will be always a scalar because this is the one vector function this is also a vector function dot product will be a scalar so <clears throat> divergence of a vector vector field if positive value then it will be called as outward flow of vector field example is your positive charge from the positive charge electric lines of forces are coming outward okay now if divergence will be negative then it will be called as inward flow of vector field the example is that if we are going to consider a negative charge the lines of forces coming towards the charge or it is it is directed inward right now we are going to consider third one if divergence of vector field is zero then it will be called as solenoidal vector field this is most important always one or two more question you can found in your exam short question upon the solenoidal vector field a vector field arbitrary vector field will be given and you have to just prove that it is solenoidal or not that for that you have to find out the dot product if zero then it will be called as solenoidal vector field <coughs> that you have to remember 
and for the solenoidal vector field the example is this one if the vector field is circulating like this circulating about a point for this vector field we can found divergence will be zero so this is the uh, uh, for very if, if we are going to consider a example suppose at this point a wire is passed through and along this wire current i is flowing along this direction so obviously magnetic fields will be like this magnetic field will be like this <coughs> or we can consider the co if current is flowing in this direction magnetic fields will be like this as shown in the figure magnetic fields okay so here magnetic field has divergence always zero that you know this is also second maxwell's electromagnetic maxwell's equation this is the famous famous second maxwell's uh, uh, electromagnetic equation okay so here del dot f will be equal to zero then this f we can write curl of another vector suppose this is a vector okay curl of another vector a so hence if here if v f is the vector field will be considered as magnetic field then a will be called as magnetic vector potential why i written this line i written this line because this line will be useful for your second semester okay second semester in your electromagnetic paper you can found this uh, this term that is your del cross a del cross a represent the magnetic field and here a vector is represents magnetic magnetic vector potential so here you can see if a vector field suppose its divergence will be zero that means this is represents like this one rotating type rotating type okay rotating type so as you know that magnetic field around a current uh, carrying conductor is like this so obviously uh, del dot b will be equal to zero divergence of the magnetic field will be equal to zero okay so this uh, magnetic field and corresponding magnetic vector potential uh, you are going to be study in detail in your second semester okay in your second semester in your electromagnetism paper okay you can download the note whatever we discussed in pdf format link has been given in the description of this video right so thank you so much for watching this video thank you